to go over summer plan. So what I would like you to do is to watch the two minute video until you get sick of me teaching it to you. <laughs> but you have to know how to do it. So don't just watch it once and be like, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> okay, the second thing I want you to do is I want you to write this summer. And I want you to write your autobiography. What's that? Your autobiography is the story of you. I find you so interesting that I want to know all about you. Are you sure you find me interesting? I the, feel like that's just the thing you have to say. Oh, Teacher Ann never says anything that she has to say. I play it straight. I always play it straight. I do find you super interesting, Lila. You're fun and interesting and you make me laugh and I like our little chats at the end of our videos or our end of our sessions. So yes, I do find you interesting. There are some clients that I have that are not as interesting. They might be interesting to other people, but they're not like oh my gosh, tell me all about that all the time. And with you, I'm always like, okay, tell me what your thing is. I love it. But I do love all of my students, so that is true. Okay, so. You know, what, honey? Besides Cade, you don't like Cade. He's not interested. Oh, yeah, besides Cade. Nah, Cade's my buddy. You guys are both my buddies. Okay, so to write your autobiography, you are going to, number one, tell me about, we're going to start at the start. You're going to tell me about your birth. You may not know about it because you were there, but you really weren't uh, understanding what was going on. So you might have to interview mom and dad. So I want to hear all about it. How did it happen? How long was, um, like, Tyler took 22 hours to get here. So what was mom's story? Were there any funny stories or silly stories? Or stories with my brother because my mom had to have a vacuum to pull my, to pull um, Tate out. And yeah. then for my other brother, he couldn't read when he came out because he was blue. So maybe your story is, oh my gosh, it was so easy, which would be what you would write. And then you're going to tell me when you were born, what time you were born, and then uh, where, and who was there. Then, after we're done with your birth, we're going to talk about your preschool. And I know you had a fun preschool, so you're going to tell me all about it. Your teachers, yep, your friends, what did you do there, what activities did you like. Then you're going to tell me about your kindergarten and you're going to tell me anything you want, fun stories or um, friend stuff, what did you like to do at recess, what did you like to learn, who was your teacher, all of that fun stuff. Then you're going to tell me about your first grade, then you're going to tell me about your second grade, then you're going to tell me about your third grade, then you're going to tell me about your fourth grade, and you're going to do it in detail. I want to know what it was like. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to tell me all about your family, who's in it, your grandmas and grandpas and your aunts and your uncles and your cousins, and I know you have this tradition of always going to North Carolina, so tell me about that. What are your activities that you do as a family? What are your traditions? So sometimes... Our traditions are about our holidays, right? Maybe not, but I know you have a fun Christmas thing that you do with all of your cousins and you do this whole big thing. So I wanna know all about that and how you guys celebrate holidays and birthdays and all of that fun stuff. And what do you do as a family? So activities, um, all the sports stuff. So do you go to your brother's games? Do they come to your games? Do you guys go on bike rides? Whatever. Then I know you guys have fun vacations. So you can tell me about that. And uh, who's in your family? How old are they? And maybe a few sentences about them. So how old? 
and then a few sentences about describing who they are. Okay, then you're going to go to your friends. I know you have a lot of good friends. You're going to tell me what you guys like to do, who are your friends, anything you want about that. And then you're going to tell me this is the fun part, I think. Your hobbies and your interests and your personality. I like know my personality. Yeah, like you're fun, you're kind, you're creative. I you, don't know about the second one. I think you're kind. And anything at all. And the reason why I do this is because some people have a hard time saying what's good about them. They feel embarrassed to do that. So I want you to shine. And I want you to tell me what is good about Lila. Because there are so many things to choose from. And if you can't think of it, then ask your friends and your family. Because I'm sure they will have plenty to say. I know say. one thing about me. What? I am beautiful. You are beautiful. And then your goals and your dreams and your passions. So I know you have a passion for writing now. I know you have a passion for reading and animals and art. And so you're going to talk about any of those things. So that is writing. That's what I would like you to do. You can watch this video and do a little bit each week. Maybe one of these each week. And then for math... I want you to practice your math facts because we have to be super, super fast at multiplication and division. Then I want you to make up three digit by two digit multiplication problems. So an example is you just come up with any number. 562 times 98 and you're going to solve it. You're going to do one of those per day um, three times a week. Your math facts, you're going to get flat your flashcards out and you're going to just go through them so that you're super quick. Then you're going to do a three digit by one digit division fact so you're going to do something like 5 goes into 638. And then you're going to solve that. Then you are going to round a number. So you're going to make up a three-digit number. And you are going to round it to the hundredths and the tens. And then you're going to do one fraction. You're going to make up a fraction. It could be any numbers. I don't care. You're going to multiply it, and then you're going to make up another fraction, and you're going to divide it. Now, the only thing that you have to worry about is it's probably easier to do a regular fraction instead of an improper fraction. So the numerator is going to be smaller than the denominator. And that is your homework for summer. This should take you probably five minutes. And this should take you probably about an hour or less in a week because you are pretty quick now. So probably one hour of homework a week and you love writing and by the time that you're done with it you're going to have the story of you and you're going to be like a math quick girl on these concepts so those are the things that i want you to do over summer do you have any questions about any of that no okay i have recorded this all so you can always watch it and be like i don't know what she said i was supposed to do so i'm sending you this recording and, of course, part of summer homework is reading for fun. Reading, I have a lot of reading, so I have one, two, 